Hello, in this video we're going to explore a couple of different ways you can get cryptocurrency prices into your Adalo app. Now if you look at what we've got here, uh, we've got two methods. The first of which, which is very easy, is just a ticker um, from CoinMarketCap and this is displayed in a web view. The second way is using the CoinMarketCap API and setting up an external collection so this data is accessible and usable within your Adalo app. Um, so let's look at this ticker first and let's delete what we've got and start from scratch. Um, for the web view, I'm using um, a PragmaFlow component. Uh, where are we? Better web view. Okay, so if you go to the PragmaFlow website and install that, that's what we'll be using in this video. Okay, so I've got that installed and I'm going to get the PragmaFlow web view here. Um, and then you need to come here to coinmarketcap.com forward slash widget forward slash ticker. And then here you can build how you want your ticker. So do you want Bitcoin, Ethereum, etc. Um, so let's just pick Cardano and we do have more options there um, which you can play with later. But the important thing here is you get um, the widget HTML code right there. So let's copy that and go back to our app. Um, so on the web view, we want to show HTML. And we'll be replacing the default text there. Um, but before we do, you need to click here where we're going to encode the HTML. So paste your widget code into here and press encode. Copy that back out and then put it into the component and we are now done. It's really that simple and the widget is completely free. You don't need to be signing up or anything like that. So a really nice, easy, free option. Um, but maybe um, you want more power, more control over the data um, and the ability to do different things. So for this, we're going to use the CoinMarketCap API. Um, so you need to go to CoinMarketCap, create an account, um, and with a free account, you get quite a lot of free usage. I think it's 10,000 API calls, uh, which is plenty for just playing about. And if we go to pricing, um, yeah, there we go, 10,000 call credits per month uh, on the free plan. Uh, but they've got different plans if you need to access more data. Um, so you need to sign up and then go to your account on CoinMarketCap and it will have given you an API key over here. Anyway, let's go back to the documentation and let's um, try one of the endpoints. So endpoint overview, let's go to cryptocurrency and let's do this one, uh, which is latest. Okay, and on the right hand side here, we've got the endpoint. So we can copy that and let's start setting up a custom action with that endpoint. Um, sorry, I mean external collection, not custom action. Um, so let's delete what we have, uh, which I already set up, and start again. So add collection coin market cap listings. And the base URL we just copied from the docs. Um, for the authorization, we need to add a header. Let's go back to the API docs and look at the authorization section. Or, or, there we go, authentication. Um, and for the name of the header, we need this here. So we're going to copy that, and that's the name of our header. And then go back to your account, copy your API key, and put that in the value. Um, okay, so we can click next. On the get all, we need to add a results key. In this case, it's going to be data. The reason for that, if we look at the API docs, uh, for the latest listings, we can see in the response, everything is nested under this data array. Okay, so that's why it's our results key. Back to our app and let's test that out. Okay, test successful. 
create collection, and now straight away we can add a custom list, a list of coin market cap listings, and then we can start to be adding all the data from there. So let's have the name of the cryptocurrency, and as a subtitle, let's have the US dollar price. Okay, one more thing we might want to do, just click on that magic text and add a dollar prefix, just so it will display with that. Okay, and let's preview. And there we go, we've got all the uh, latest crypto listings from CoinMarketCap. So there we have it, we've got the easy option, and then I've given you a kind of introduction on how to use the API, how to um, do your authorization, um, and how to start looking at their docs. Um, CoinMarketCap actually have many, many different endpoints you can see here. Um, some of them um, you can use on the basic version, and I think some of them are only um, on some of the paid plans. But I hope that gets you started and that was helpful to you. If you have any questions, let me know.